hello everyone thank you for joining me welcome to day four of my 12 days of crafty christmas series today i'm going to be making a christmas card with the magical meadow stamp set the stamp set does come as part of a bundle with coordinating dies but i am only going to be using the stamp set today i'm also going to be bringing in one of the basic 3d embossing folders and um, this is the kind of cross hatch one um, i have already done my embossing so you don't have to deal with the wobble of my embossing machine for the cardstock today we're going to be using basic white and gray granite and then this is my piece that i have already embossed so i'm going to bring in my paper trimmer we're going to have a white card base so I'm just going to trim that down so you can use whatever your standard card base size is. I always go for half a sheet of A4, um, which is between 14.8 and 14.9 centimetres. And then I score down the middle at 10 and a half. So just a standard card base. Then I'm going to have a grey granite layer between my embossed panel and my card base. So this is going to be 10 centimetres. Bye. So I've just gone down half a centimetre. You could go down a quarter of an inch if you were using inches. So that's going to sit behind that panel like so. And then I'm going to cut a piece of basic white that we are going to stamp onto. And my basic white panel is going to be, let me just remind myself, it is going to be seven centimetres wide and then the length is going to be uh, just shy of eleven and a half centimetres so if you're using inches I've gone down an inch on each side so we'll have a half inch border around the outside. For my ink colour today I am using the Lost Lagoon ink pad and I am going to start off with my, so this is the image that we're going to be using um, and I'm going to start off with first generation stamping and then I'm going to stamp again next to it in second generation. I'm going to re-ink my stamp and then I'm going to carry on my kind of leaf line and then the same again with that second generation stamping. Then I'm going to add a little bit of first generation down at the bottom there, a little bit of second generation across to the side. You can add as much or as little as you like. Um, it's not very uniform, which is not my comfort zone. Um, so I'm going to stop there and then I'm going to stamp with the colder weather brings us together. Sentiment. Lovely. And then it's time to put our card together. So I'm going to start off with some Tombow on our grey granite layer and I'm just going to pop straight down onto our card base. Nice even border all the way around. The nice thing about the Tombow is it gives you that little bit of wiggle room if you need it. Then my embossed layer I'm also going to stick down with my Tombow and then our very front panel, the one that we've stamped onto, I'm going to pop up on dimensionals. Like so. I'm going to pop some dimensionals on the back of here. Okay. 
and then pop that down onto our card. Aim for nice and central. And then for a final touch, I'm going to bring in some of the rhinestone basic jewels. And I'm just going to add a couple of them. Ooh, if I can pick them up, it would be much easier with my take your pick tool, but I don't have it to hand. So I'm just going to pop couple of these on. I like to do them in odd numbers. Uh, maybe one there. There we go. That is our card for today. Um, so using the Magical Meadow stamp set. Thank you so much for joining me again today. Um, I hope to see you again tomorrow for the next instalment of my 12 days of crafty Christmas. Um, so thank you again for joining me. Take care. Bye bye.